So we come to the main event of the day is the Indian Champion Cup Grade One. We have a good lineup of seven horses here, and uh, they're really, really good horses and slime. Mm, so we come to horse number one, Consigliere. Danny, could you run us through Consigliere's form and record since you were his uh, ex-trainer? Consigliere has uh, done well in Hyderabad, and uh, he's the winner of the Hyderabad uh, Monsoon Derby. So he'll definitely get the mile and a quarter trip. He came down to Cal after winning uh, a class one race uh, over a mile, the Governor's Cup, and uh, there, thereafter placed second in uh, a 1400 uh, to awesome one. But uh, he's not had a chance really with the terms of the race uh, of the races that he's run in thus far. Where because of his state money earnings, he's been giving quite a chunk of weight to uh, the other runners. But coming to the Indian Champion Cup, it's a it's a real you know test for of ability. There's no equalising. There's no uh, it's a level playing field uh, for all the horses. So he's got as good a chance as any uh, on the weights here, which maybe he didn't earlier. So looking at that, looking at his uh, last workouts, I, I've seen him the other day. He was moving quite well in the morning. So at level weights, Consigliere will like the distance. He hasn't had the greatest form running 7th and 5th in his previous two runs. But uh, certainly at level weights, he should run a much better race than what he's accounted for in his last couple of starts. That's what I then we got host number 2, Psychic Force. He's a 7-year-old multi-dimensional psychic light, trained by Ashe Doctor. He had a he was he was in, uh, in tremendous form last year. This was in fact he won this race. He's the winner yes. of the Indian Champion Cup last year. Mm-hmm. So he he's not shown the same form. So hopefully he's back down to you know the same race and uh, to uh, to put his stamp on the on the on the race again. Certainly has the ability. He's showing an improvement in form, having run fourth. So it's he's he's shown a slight improvement. On that, with the distance, with again the level weight, because he's another horse which is, you know, been giving weight and and uh, high, highly rated. So here he gets an equal chance. So if anything, this would be his race in the season, you know, to go for it. So then we got horse number three, Shivansh. He's top class out of immortal immortal story, trained by Vijay Singh, and I think this horse has struck his golden form back again. I agree with you. I have a lot of respect for this horse. He's a great performer. He's a wonderful race horse. He does have that tendency now and then to veer out, but that doesn't stop him from winning either. You know, sometimes he just gallops uh, even better when he shifts out to the outer portion of the track. But he's an exciting horse to follow. He's hit uh, great form again. So he's at level weights and uh, like they all are. And I'm sure he'll run a good race as he, you know, with the kind of form that he's showing right now. Then we got horse number four, Parishan. She's a bay filly, a bay mare, champ silly's out of anyway smile. Well, she's a, come from the yard of Casey Shroff. And uh, she's one of the horses who have roamed all over India and taken on the best and finally has arrived in Calcutta. Hmm. Well, Ramiford, she doesn't she really stick out, you know, with her, uh, with her uh, racing record, which she's brought, carried here to Calcutta. It's really nice to see, you know, her coming down to make this Indian Champion Cup, which is uh, one of the premier winter, you know, um, uh, graded, races. Ra- graded races in the country. So it, it suits this race for a horse like her to have come down. She's done really well. She's been, as you said, you know, bridesmaid to Juliet on a couple of occasions, having run fourth to a living silver uh, in the Indian uh, in the Invitation Cup recently. She's here and I think she's the horse on the terms and with her form would be the, the everybody's uh, uh, pick. In, in fact, I give her a good chance myself. Definitely. Then we got horse number five, Rainbow Trot. Another Bay Mare from the yard of Vijay Singh, bred by Lita Moore out of Rainbow Queen. I think uh, she was another filly last year who also had struck great form. And I think she had rattled off four or five races in a row. Right, yes. So what do you feel as a present form? What's your take on it? Rainbow Trout has not been able to reproduce the, the form or the, which you are talking about from last season in the current in her current season form. But uh, she's run second to Shivansh 
in the Army Cup we were just discussing. And uh, the only thing I think with Rainbow Trout is maybe the mile and a quarter is, is a little bit too much for her to, uh, for the asking. I think she's more of a miler in, in the kind of uh, races that she's run so far. So I would say that uh, although she ride, might run well, I would prefer the other runners who are more suited to the mile and a quarter distance. Yeah, she's coming from the yard of Vijay Singh, so definitely he feels she does have a squeak at this. From a mile just going up to a mile and a quarter this time. Well, she's there. She, she's yeah. she's uh, off the class. She's at the rating. So, you know, just from a mile to a quarter of a mile more. So, why not? Then we come to horse number six, Rambunctious. Another bay mare. King Daka out of Circle of Bliss. Again from the yard of Casey Sharoff. What's your take on uh, Rambunctious? Between the two that uh, have come down, Basie's brought down for this race. I prefer Parisian. Rambunctious, I also feel uh, Parisian is, is more suited to the distance. Rambunctious may be better between a seven to a mile looking at her record. She may be an early uh, front running kind of a horse in this race if she, if she shows that kind of speed. And uh, I would think that... Um, between the two, I, I would say Parisian has uh, has obviously the better credentials. Having said that, she's looking well. In fact, we uh, you know happened to have a look at her yesterday, and uh, in this, while we were passing by, and she looked quite well. She looks like she's although she's a compact sort of a a filly or a mare. So you think she's uh, going to be that all important name? She could be, but again, on the distance, I would give the other horses we discussed, you know, uh, a little preference. Yeah. Then you got horse number seven, Tudor Hall, the winner of the Dikaitan Memorial Gold Cup. She's another six year old mare, King Daka, out of Enaxi, from the yard of Vijay Singh. And uh, I think she's a filly who's coming to herself this season. Well, she's a model of consistency. She's not run a bad race. She might might not have won all her starts, but she really, you know, puts in her best and she's fought out to the last. So I think uh, Tudor Hall, although, you know, maybe being a filly and being over a mile and a quarter, I think she, and she's run, uh, she runs close and uh, in fact beaten him in the Gold Cup. And so you can't rule out Tudor Hall because she's such a game fighter and such a, you know, um, an honest filly, I would say. So definitely, she's also going to be there at the finish because she's beaten Shivan pretty comfortably coming from behind with a rerun and uh, beating him, I think, by a, a length or two. Yeah. So she's going to be there also at the finish. But all of a sudden, I think, looking at Parishan's preparation and his final workout was her workout was absolutely outstanding. What she did on Sunday. So I think she's main horse they're all going to beat. I agree with you, Robert. In this uh, Indian Champion Cup grade one we're having. Having said that, um, I think it's going to be a really interesting race. There are a lot of little, uh, you know, um, nuances with each horse here. So I think the way I look at it on paper, Parisian does stand out, but it could be just, you know, an interesting finish with all these quality runners uh, taking part. So now, since the doors are wide open, we've got racing resumed. So, we look to see a lot of people on. And those who cannot make it, please download the Bet Play India, BetPlayIndiaRace.com app. Place your bets over there and enjoy racing.